Okay, here I have um, baking soda and vinegar. And this is going to make a reaction. They're going to react and you're going to see a lot of fizzing. Now, this is cold. I have that baking soda is right around 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And the vinegar, which I have right here, I'm going to pour it in, is right at 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I'm going to combine them together and we're going to see how much, just visually, how much of a reaction we get. Ready in three, two, one. Okay, you see that fizzing right there? Okay, that's the reaction we get when it's cold. What we're going to do to compare it is then we're going to um, have warmer baking soda and warmer vinegar and see how the reaction is different. We're going to do that in just a second. Okay, now I have the same amount of baking soda and the same amount of vinegar. Uh, very precisely, you need to keep those variables the same. And now, this is the warm part of my experiment. The baking soda that I have in there is um, about 68 degrees, it's room temperature, and the vinegar I warmed up in the microwave is right at 158 degrees. So I'm going to add them together and we're going to see how this reaction compares in three, two, one. Okay, I think that you can see that was a much stronger reaction, much faster, um, and that is uh, based solely on the warmer temperatures because chemical reactions happen much faster and the more chemical reactions the higher the temperature. Cold temperatures really reduce the rate of chemical reactions and thanks for watching and I hope uh, you get that and you retain that.